Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This is a DL step card. Now obviously you can't see, you can see the shape of it. But you can't see the front unless I hold it up like that. Fits in a DL envelope or normal letter envelope. I think it's quite pretty. Right, to make this card we're going to use stamp sets. Them. Butterfly Gala. Now this is take two. So I have already stamped the butterflies. So they're nice and dry. But yes, I have stamped them already. Um, falling Flowers, we're going to use that image. Beautiful Day, and we're just going to use the words Happy Birthday. And very vintage, and we're going to use that greenery bit there. For the cardstock, you'll need two pieces, no, one piece of uh, white cardstock I've used at 8 inches by 4 inches, and one at 8 and a quarter by 4 inches. This is quite thick, this is 300 GSM cardstock. For the background I'm changing the colour. I'm using Mango Melody. So you'll need a piece at 1 and 7 eighths by 7 inches. I think it's 7 inches. Yeah. 2 at 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths. Yeah. And 1 at seven eighths by three and seven eighths. For the white you'll need one at six and seven eighths by one and three quarters. Yeah. Six and seven eighths by one and three quarters. Two at a half inch. No. Three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters and one at three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters. So we're going to stamp on this, this and this. So we'll keep them to one side but first we need to make the card. Right, with that, here was the card I made the first time. But I'll use that for another one. So, to start this card, we're going to use the one that is eight and a quarter. Bring up our trimmer and take you out a little bit. That's it. And we are going to score this at quarter of an inch yeah, that's right quarter of an inch we're just going to score it I'm going over it a few times because like I said it's a thick card and to turn it round and we're going to score it again at an inch Now we're going to put that score line on the inch mark and we're going to score down one inch. And then we're going to come down to the three inch mark and score the rest. Then we're going to turn it round so it's portrait size and put it to an inch there and we're going to cut all the way down to this first score line. So we come all the way down to seven and a quarter it is. And we do the inch the other side. 
and cut down. Just make sure that's on the inch. And cut down to seven and a quarter. hasn't gone up quite the way through. There we are. So that's that. Right, with the second piece, putting it on the inch line, we're going to cut this to three and three quarters. And do the same this way, put it on the inch and cut it down to three and three quarters. And then we're going to turn this long ways and we're going to cut these one inch strips at six inches. That's one. So that's what that looks like. Don't need that no more. Bring it back down. Go all blurry then because it's white on white. I think I've come up too far. Yeah, I'll do. Right, um, let's put that there. Try and stop it being blurry. Now, I don't need that one. We need this one. We're going to fold this in. So we're going to fold a mountain fold. Make sure it's nice and even and burnish. Right, and then the others, we want to fold them into a valley fold, making sure they're all straight. Put this one in a valley fold. And then fold these into a mountain fold at the very top. That's this bit here. And this one as well. the outline of our card. Right then, to stick these on, we're going to glue yeah, they fit. the little tabs we turned over. Do the big one first. And the glue's all dried up and blocked. Ow. Just stab myself with the needle or the pin. So 
so glue on there and we're going to glue this to the top of this one making sure it's all straight press it all down open it up and run the burn folder over it nice right we'll do the same with the little tabs Same with this one. And there we have our card base. So all we've got to do now is decorate it. And to do that, we are going to stamp. We don't need this, put that to one side, but we need all these. So what we're going to do is stamp this one first and this is the happy birthday and I am just going to use my black marker pen and I'm going to colour in the word Happy. And I'm just using the side of my marker pen, not the tip of it, but the side of the brush end. And do the word birthday. Then you huff on it and hopefully hit the paper straight. <laughs> Leave it a little while to let the ink transfer. There we are. Oh. 
bless you. My husband, bless him, trying not to sneeze. Right. Put that to one side to dry. Now we're going to do these. And I'm going to do these in Old Olive. And all we're going to do here is... But it's on the same block I had Happy Birthday on. It's just stamp up the middle of the card. doesn't matter if it overlaps because the butterfly, a butterfly could hide that. Do the same on both of them. Never put my pen on me ink, uh, lid on me ink. Right. What's that one done? Right, we'll put this away and we'll bring out our black ink. Now I will need a piece of scrap paper. And we're going to stamp this image twice. So I'm going to hit the middle as best as I can. Pop that down there. And turn it round. And do the same. Yeah. my black pen. I don't know if you can see but just there whoop, hasn't transferred the ink very well so with my black pen I will just follow the pattern round and fill in. On this one, I need the thin end. There we are. That was the only bit that did that. Dry it off a little bit. In fact, we'll come back to that in a minute. We should colour the butterflies in. Now, because I've changed the colours, these are the butterflies I've already done. I need five little butterflies. There we are. I need six little butterflies and three big ones. So, let's go into me. And we want 
Daffodil Delight, Melon Mango, Mango and Pineapple Punch. Dark and light of each. So I'm going to start off with the light and just do a little bit on each side. Then I'm going to go to the dark and do a bit more. Then I'm going for Daffodil Delight, which is this one. And do a bit of that. This must be daffodil light dark. And then melon, oh, mango melody light. Then mango melody. Dark. Twitchy finger. And then with the pineapple punch and the brush end, I just went over the whole thing to blend in the um, stripy bits a bit. them out. So I'll punch out the little one first. And then punch out the big one. I know you're all saying if I'd left them together I could have done it all in one go. I know I could have. But I didn't want the stamps together all the time. I'll tell you what I did forget about, which we'll do now, that one and that one, is the bodies. So let's get a block, get the body, and just pop that in there. So it's now got a body on. Put that back and get the. Mm, there's the other one. There it is. Uh, 
and put that down there. That's the butterflies done. job is to colour this in. All I'm doing with this is granny apple green light and just going in all the leaves Do, 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 do. I'm trying to find them all now. I think we've got more. And then the buds I just coloured in pink. all the bits together so this bit goes on here Let's go on these ones. birthday and then we'll bring our card back in which is I think. No, I stick this one on first. Only because it was in my hand.
and then this one. is a bit long. I am going to just trim that off a fraction. That's better. Must have been just over the um, measurement. So, uh, other butterflies. We fold the wings up in the middle, and we're going to have one in the middle, one at the top, and one at the bottom, obviously. These ones we just put three on each side Oh, all that leaves us to do is glue them down. Over the join, that one in as low as you can. us to do is add some gems. Let's make sure these are all stuck down. They are. I'm going to put two different sorts of gems on. I am going to put these ones on. These are like a pearl with two glass gems on the end and a little scissors for this so I am going to do this one so I'll take off like 
this is for the big butterflies. So there is like a pearl and a glass gem either side of the pearl on each of the big butterflies. Have to be an adult to have a pearl. <laughs> and the little ones, they had three each on. Well, I've got this string of three uh, gems that are in a string, on a string. So I only have to put one on it at a time instead of having to put individual ones on. That's called cheating, I know. Take long. Oh, can't get that back in yet. Well, I hope you like the card. There's that one and the one I did earlier. I haven't added the butterflies here because I didn't quite like them butterflies, but I couldn't pull them off because it was already dry when I decided I didn't like them. So, I've got to leave them on. And I do definitely like it without the little butterflies. I hope you like my cards, give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please uh, subscribe. And if you press the notification button, bell button, um, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.